poor, poor Polaroid. Uh, but this is <laughs> a tri point classic at this point. Serdine versus Econa, Falcon versus Sheik. Another really fun matchup, especially for Sheik. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's been pretty clear since the first match. I'm pretty biased. I really like Sheik. Sheik's yeah, my favorite hey. character. Sheik is who I would consider my my main. If and you ask I, me to play, so. And I hate Sir Dink, so we're really we're I Sheik do fans too now. tonight. Let's go. We're, let's go. We're Sheik fans tonight. I, I had to tell Joey the, the, the <laughs> lore, and uh, I'll never live that day down. But this is um, one of those matchups where, I on paper, um, Sheik kind of dominates. Yeah, but and realistically, I think it is still winning. It's just. Falcon, it's Falcon, and this is Ultimate Falcon specifically. <laughs> this and it's is also obnoxious, and it's Dank. Yeah, it's Dank. That's the other thing. It's Dank. He kind of just does stuff that and he's um, a phenomenal player. He knows, like, the thing is, he picks such unorthodox care, uh, options. Yeah. And I hate when people say like, "Oh, he didn't mean to do that." And it's like, no, no he's, he's a very intentional did. player. Yes. It's just nobody else is thinking that way. Yeah. It, the the way that Dank plays and the way he thinks about the game, especially as uh, I've talked to him more about it and he's kind of given me a lot more tips on getting better as well, mm -hmm. is he just thinks about the game in such a different way than other people. No! Huh? <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> Rivals 2 is $30 on Steam right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm, so, I'm done for the night. Um, and so is Econa, apparently. Um, that upstash is going to connect right out of shield. Not supposed to down air or down tilt quite right. Yeah. Um, but he kind of still playing this very, very well. But we are going into the Marth brightest uh, percent here. Obviously not Marth, but... Yeah, know, um, yeah. That, that percentage where your confirms stop working mm -hmm. and getting a kill becomes so much harder than Down it should be. There we go. Not that one, though. Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, no, he kind of is playing really smart. Playing around this, the, the dink options. And I think that that really is um, what I started to notice like, of, of those that uh, play dink a lot. Yeah. Um, like for instance, my my boy picks uh, for a while. Him and him and uh, Dank were playing like basically every, yeah, every yeah, tournament, yeah. and it became less of like a what do I do against Falcon and more of a what do I do against Dank. Yeah, he he is like an innovator when it comes to coming his character. Really, I mean, yeah. it, it can be a lot. It can be really really hard to fight ooh. him. And ooh, yeah. That option. Yeah, good stuff from uh, Sacha, able to actually get out of that. And I love, the other thing, too, is something that uh, I haven't seen a lot of people do. Um, Redacious, actually, uh, in the uh, when he made it into Summit, mm -hmm. uh, beat Dank a couple times. And the way he did it was actually by snuffing out that um, Raptor boost right away. Yeah. And that's what Sacha was able to do just there. And it gave him so much stage control and kind of allowed him to dictate the pace of the game right there to secure that second stock. I love the patience there from Sasha. Just not... D Dank will always do that. He'll have on a platform, kind of just jump three or four times, try to be like, "Hey, like you know what you you think you know what I'm going to do." Yeah. And he'll just like surprise you with like I don't know, stomp up smash or something like that, or he'll just drop down and up smash you. Yeah. Uh, but he kind of just like waited it out, realizing, yeah, there's no need to rush the approach. Uh, but here we go, Falcon on ledge, not the greatest character in the world. Ooh. Oh, dude, you had needles there. Yo. Yes. A little, little bit of a flood by Sasha. Not probably not just feeling it right there, but. Let's hope that doesn't cost him. <gasps> no, that was definitely the jab, jab, F tilt. But is that going to cost him the game? Yeah, yeah, this is getting really, really scary. Uh, but good thing for Sachin is that he was that able to. Oh. Nah, not yet. No kill, Sparge. No, no, no kill there for uh, for Dank. But that is certainly going to kill. Yeah. But I really do like what uh, Icon was able to do mm -hmm. there, though, because he, despite the fact that he was super, super down that entire game, um, the second he was able to actually get his hands on the reins, he took that all the oh, way. Oh, yeah. Like, being down, and then he had that one opportunity, he just carried him on ledge to, to where we got to that yeah, yeah, situation yeah, yeah. where he couldn't have done the needles or whatever. Yeah, that was just like, that's that's playing the matchup to a team. Yeah, exactly. Igno ignoring the fact that it's Econa versus Dink, that is Sheik Falcon in a nutshell. Yep. And that is where Econa needs to be putting Dink every single time. Yeah. The minute you let him start doing his stomps, his raw knees and neutral, his up yeah. smashes, once Dan gets in that flow of just getting to be obnoxious. Yeah, exactly. Not, okay, not, not calling him obnoxious. Like, no, yeah, 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 options, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's when you start losing to Dan. Yeah. That is when he starts dominating. That is when he, you start feeling disheartened because you're like, how do I get hit by this option? Yeah. 
And so it it, it really I again I loved the nair right on the startup of Raptor Boost, like just just not allowing the option to come out at all. And I really want to see if Icona was able to recognize that and use it more uh, as this continues to go. But I love that parry and a quick uh, air, uh, eh, and a quick spot dodge just to make sure that we don't get another stomp. And now we're running away with it, but Deng able to fire back immediately with a quick rapid jab. Gotta be careful about these nares out of shield. It does, it's, it's a great move, but it does extend her hitbox quite a bit. Raptor's not gonna quite take it. I actually completely thought this was a stage. Um, but Tanzi, I'm not sure how I feel about this choice. Um, I know you have more space to you know, take carry Dank. Yeah. Uh, closer blast zones means Bouncy Fish kills earlier, but so does Rap, um, Falcon Dive. Exactly. And me. Okay, flubbing a little bit on the confirm there, but still getting Dank in an awkward situation on the platform. Yeah. Both fighting for center stage there. Catching the attack in, there we go. Yeah. Waiting for the full hop, but not quite finding a home. I really Pretty do. Good. I really do love the tech chasing that uh, Icona is doing there, but unfortunately, just like you said, just not able to actually get anything. That was Ooh, sick. Ooh, that was good. Wait, what? That was so, so good. I did not so know good. you could do that. See, an innovator right here. I mean, just super, super studious. That hitbox ship actually just broke my soul there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good Nair. Uh, recognizing that the, the whiff on the needles, not being able to confirm, but continuing to put on a little bit of pressure there, getting the Nair out. Unfortunately for uh, Icona, he's just a little too high percentage to get too much off of it anyways, and this is getting real scary. And Tank's doing a really good job of, like, you can see where he's preemptively calling out different drifts. It's not always catching, yeah. but it's just so scary because all it takes is him to be get right one time. Exactly. Stomp me. That's it. Um, but Icona's also doing a really really good job of conditioning Dank to go high. Uh, from even the previous game, he's just been doing like, you know, the, the falling needles and everything. Yeah. So Dank's getting comfortable. Oh, okay. Uh, not too comfortable, apparently. Um, you yeah. know, this is the start of something. Oh, I right. I like the attempt yeah. on the um, on the upper drag down, but unfortunately isn't able to really get too much on it. Love the needles to put on a lot more pressure onto that shield as you get away from the stage. And a quick soft nair. Now we can get some damage out, but Dex sneaking in an aerial to uh, reverse the situation. Not gonna die off the top quite yet, but yeah, these downsides are also putting in a lot of work. There's limiting where Dink can go. And the, like you said, the nair just stuffing out every preemptive option Dink is throwing out. That's back throw punish. Here we yeah. go, looking for the back air. But Dink's just gonna, like, kind of respecting that the platform is there, not looking too hard. But here we go, down tilt, Whoa. up air, not going for a drag down, very smart for Icona, just, just keeping the pressure on Dink. Oh, I love the reverse needles, here we go. That's not gonna be confirmed yet. Ooh, just barely not, out, or just barely out of the range to get a kill there, but I mean, Icona's good doing thing. such a good job just keeping himself, uh, putting on so much pressure on Dank, not allowing him to really do too much, because, oh, I love the parry. Oh, fantastic Holy parry shit. on that F smash, not allowing Dank to have kind of that random obnoxious option that he's so known for, not allowing him to really be, not, not allowing himself to feel any fear when it comes to fighting Dank there, but that Falcon and dive is going to kill yeah, you. You're at 170 on the right side of town. Right, you know <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But something that Kana's, like, I know we're kind of glazed at Kana, but man, he's just playing this matchup so well. Yeah. And it's just one of those things where I, I've just, I noticed that, that last uh, Falcon dive attempt, he's just been really good about mixing up where he's landing on shield for, with, with Dink. He's not consistently crossing up. He's not consistently landing at the same distance. So it's making Dink question like his timing on the Falcon yeah, dive, exactly. which is leading to him, you know, Dink, when Dink hesitates, he gets into his own head, that's when he starts to unravel his player. Yeah, exactly. It, it, especially when it, he's so momentum-based, right? Mm -hmm. He's so good at keeping momentum. And so when you kind of interrupt that, 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 when you force him to switch, right? When you take the reins, it can be a little bit hard for him to readjust. So I really like that coming out from Icona. Nice dash attack. They just been in these awkward situations on the ledge. Oh, I was gonna look for the reverse knee, honestly, but not quite gonna find a kill with that bear. That up smash Ooh. will take it. How did, oh, fair whiff there. Yeah, a little bit of hurt bot shifting shenanigans as Dank takes game number two. But I mean, Icona has all of the pieces. Yeah. He has all of the pieces f to kind of take down Sir Dank here. Mm -hmm. It's just about putting it all together. For sure, it's just, it. I don't want to say it's just like a chic thing, but it is just like, Dank's finding those kills a little bit early, a little bit easier, a little bit earlier. Yeah. Right? Outside of that, like one Falcon have at like 170. Um, and that does make a huge difference. Yeah. Because it one not only allows Dink to get that momentum that we're talking about, 
but it's also just she came to play catch up is just the worst character in the game. <laughs> Not necessarily, but like just it's so hard. Yeah, and, and especially because she doesn't really get to play a whole lot with rage, unfortunately mm -hmm. for her. Whereas Captain Falcon is it feels like is playing with rage constantly. Yeah. Right? So we'll see as we hop into this, because I really do think that Icona has all of the tools necessary. He just has to put everything together here. I think I think going back to PS2 is the right move here. Yep. I think Talon City was way too scary and a little too volatile, if I'm being completely honest. Um, where, you know, sure, yeah, you get your you get your stage carry and all that fun stuff, but I don't think that's worth potentially dying to near Falcon dive at like 80. Yeah, it, it, it's such a good stage for Falcon. Although I kind of didn't make it work. He was, oh, took that sure. the last stock the platform, last hit. The platforms really helped as well. Um, like considering he yeah, cast, yeah, yeah. not only did he have Dank at ledge, but just forcing Dank to retreat to those platforms. Sure, it's not a fully disadvantaged. Oh my God, why Ooh. are you playing with fire? <laughs> why, what is happening? This is, uh, okay. The gentleman will take that stock. Yeah. And Dang looking to put this away 3-0. He wants to get back to Rivals too. Right yeah, now. he, he, he has to hold more up sets. A little bit more. He has more sets to play in Rivals. But he's also he's playing phenomenal in both brackets yeah, right now. Is. This man is playing out of his mind. The fact that like, he can switch so easily between the games. Obviously, Rivals 2 is a lot more similar to Smash than Rivals 1 ever was. So yeah. it's, a, it's a little bit less of an awkward switch, but oh my god, dude. Just being able to hold up this level of play between the two. But there we go. Vanish will take the time take it. Couldn't really mix with the timing too much on that up B, uh, unfortunately, from Dang. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of an inevitable. I'm going to try and say that again. Inevitability. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. That's why you're my favorite coach. <laughs> um, hey, I got those big words. Oh, just uh, Falcon that kicking. That was the Dang <laughs> option. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's one of those options that, um, ooh, ooh, Again, love that for Mikana. Love that for Mikana. Immediately snuffing that out. Smart thinking. Yes, thinking. yes, yes. Most Sheiks will get scared there. They're rushing the ledge. But Mikana's like, okay, I have my jump. I have all my resources still. Let me just drop down, go for a fair, maybe go for an air after that. But he he knew after that first fair he was fine. Yeah. But here we are. Even game, Ikana's winner stock right now. Yeah, see, what's it? Gank kind of just pressing back air, retreating back to the platform. Forcing Ikana to approach, even though it's an even game, it's just so, it's so daunting. Because yeah. what are you going to do, just not approach? Most people don't have that kind of patience. You exactly. Know? And the other thing, too, is that as as good as Captain Falcon is on the ground, you're not beating Sheik on the ground. Oh, 100%. You're, you're just not. But, ooh, uh, that Falcon dive was kind of crazy. That upbeat is insane. But, yeah, I like that from Ikana. He had been grabbing Dank there in a lot of different situations for kind of hitting a shield too much. Ooh, ooh my, my God. God. I'm not even able to talk about it. Can I talk about it? <laughs> Bro, I, I'm, I'm promise you, I'm trying so hard not to glaze Sasha. Like, I'm trying he's doing so, so well. hard. He's doing so well. But he's just well. making me so proud. Yeah, but Dank able to fire back immediately on that uh, miss space down tilt. But Sasha... He's got to kind of stop jumping there. Dank is calling him out a lot for trying to jump in a little too much uh, with those Falcon dives. But love this from Sacha. Just waiting very patiently for Sir Dank to choose his landing option. But now on ledge, one hit from Falcon will do it. Even a gentleman will probably do it. Looking for the back air. Immediate Falcon kick after the back air. Very smart option from Dank. Once again. Oh, okay. Calling out the air dodge real hard with that dash attack. Dink, gonna take that 3-0. But Sasha, 